one thing I want to highlight is they don't just use it for one-to-one -one calling. The, the network has been used, the, the, the application has been going abroad to the web, online, video, GPRS, and emails, and also reading newspaper. A lot of newspaper have already go online that allow people to go on and understand news. Now, I also want to share uh, irritating things on here is you will also find weird messages going around. If you are a China mobile user, you will always receive weird pictures, like weird things, weird lines. You say, click this, you will never regret. You click on it, it's a new picture. You know, there's a lot of advertising like this about sex related, but people are very difficult to control on, in China right now. Now, so we talk about the market. Let's look into who are these people. We are in China. We are talking to 1.3 billion people, and they are from 22 provinces and also four municipal cities, five autonomous regions, and two special administrative regions. Very importantly is there are 80 dialects that we don't just speak Mandarin, but we have all different dialects at different, different cities. For example, the cities that are coming from, we speak Shanghainese, I don't. When I was staying in Guangzhou, I speak Cantonese. So uh, on the street, people are just talking Cantonese. If you don't speak the dialect, you might not understand what they're talking about. But we do have one national language, which is Mandarin. <coughs> so with all this complexity, People always like to ask me, so tell me about the average Chinese consumer. My answer is, because it's so complex, the average Chinese consumer does not exist. Because you've got so many different languages, so many different cities, so many different kind of culture going on in this country, you cannot say average Chinese consumer. Does this apply, tier one, tier two? Honestly, for give you an example, like a brand, P&G brand, Olay, uh, when we were working on it, Olay, this brand, is a cosmetic brand, skincare brand. It works very well in Guangzhou, but it works very hard in Shanghai. So tier one, both tier one cities doesn't mean that they apply to these two cities. But I'm a mother in tier one cities. It applies the same learning in tier two cities because mothers are the same. We have the same kind of needs. So it doesn't need to say, tier one and tier two. Very importantly is you cannot just say average tier one, average tier two. You have to really understand what is your product, what do you want to tell them. There are still Chinese people, there are still things that you can track and see or feel. I have a few examples today. I don't really go into guidelines or things like that. I have a few thoughts I would like to share with you. First is patriotism. Chinese people like other nations, that you love your country. This one is more outside. I wanted to share an example. Anyone use MSN Messenger? You know the icon of bracket L bracket is actually stand for love. And what happened was during the Tibet situation, the outside world is criticizing on China. And uh, the Chinese young, young people created Love China in their name. In one day, you actually can see all the Chinese people have their name come with together with the Love China. So for example, my name is Love China Z in my MSN. Everybody just automatically doing it. And today, it's still going on. We already have 10 million Chinese worldwide using this icon to express their love of China. They support Beijing Olympic. They wanted to show, show it, by showing this, they wanted to show the anger and patriotism of themselves through MSN. Another one I want to share about is Earthquake 512, May 12. When Doritz was sharing all those scenarios going on, what happened on that whole month? Olympic torch relay was delayed for three days. Everything stopped. TV stations, logo all turned into black. And a lot of online advertising scaled down. No happy advertising can be running in the, 
in the TV stations. So just imagine what ad is set. Basically, no advertising want to run any advertising. So this is how serious it is. And the philanthropic campaign is going on with a lot, a lot of um, um, association, like um, the one that Doris have just shared, Red Cross is doing. And the nation, national uh, sentiment is going on. But one very important point that I would like to highlight today is Chinese are very open questions about which company is stepping up, which company donated. I have a client actually was talking to me during lunch and say that when she, he sit down with a group of people, he was the first question that people ask is, how much did you donate? Rather than how did you contribute? They're very open about this. I want to share two cases with you. The Chinese character is a, is a herbal brand called Wang Lao Ji. It's a herbal drink. What happened to this company is when, they, when the earthquake happened, they are the first company that donated 100 million renminbi. And they are the first to say, and they say it loud and big. They do not hide. A lot of companies always felt that when you're doing giving back to the, to, the, to the society, you don't need to say it loud. You do it on your own. You do it quietly. But this company have a different strategy. I mean, it's, it's really sad things happen. But they did a very different way. Is they go on CCTV. They tell people that they donated 100 million. First to say, say it loud and yes. Uh, it might be for people. Uh, uh, 10 RMB is a euro, so 100 uh, million RMB is 10 million euro. So you divide it by 10 and then you have euro. Thank you. And the results. The, he, this brand became a forever hero in Chinese heart. Why? The Chinese online actually created a campaign for this brand and say, Feng Sha Wang Lao Ji. What is Feng Sha Wang Lao Ji? means basically, in a very weird way, it say, kill Wang Lao Ji. What does that mean is, they want people to go and buy Wang Lao Ji, which is a brand. They say, don't let this product go on shelf. Just buy it. And the product sold out in two days. <laughs> this is what happened. After two days, after the donation, product sold out, people love this brand, Online, people are saying that boycott that brand, boycott this brand, love this brand. They don't need to do any advertising. They became a hero brand in Chinese heart. Then I have another example to share, which is a matter rooster. The meaning of matter rooster here is um, like a rooster that you cannot pluck the feather out of the rooster because it's metal. They are describing this to the international company. I wanted to share a picture. Oh. Consumer, Chinese people, made poster and put it online and at the location. What is the Chinese word say is, this company make themselves rich in this country and never pay back when we have disaster. They list down the company. There are Coke, KFC, McDonald, Nokia, Louis Vuitton, um, Motorola, um, Daikim, and P&G. And this l information is everywhere. Like people give away flyers and online to talk about. But this company actually donated. It's just that they didn't donate it loud and obviously. Obvious, you know, they did donate it. It's just maybe they are not 100 million renminbi. It's not the point, but Chinese are very open about this and they want to know how much you contribute. And what happened was McDonald actually faced the biggest attack is during, uh, it was two weeks ago, McDonald's actually under attack. People are around McDonald's and show very unhappiness. They boycott McDonald's. This is a picture taken, I mean, if people go online, you will see these pictures, and they do not allow any people to walk into McDonald's. This is what happened. And they even have newspaper to bring out and say, we are in mourning situation. How can you have your happy meal going on? So this was a big problem. 